1996 Toyota Corolla. This car has a problem. Uh, the problem is uh, in the driver driver compartment or in the passenger comp compartment while the driver is sitting he is feeling gas smell over here this car is a natural gas feed you can see here the natural gas unit is there and uh, natural gas smell is coming uh, while the driver is getting in so this has some problem we are going to diagnose and we are going to diagnose the whatever gas leak to say the natural gas smell should not come inside the compartment or where the people are sitting there should be no leakage and uh, nothing at all the problem with the leakage is this is bad for health this is dangerous as well as this is a loss of gas the fuel um, so we are going to diagnose this so for the gas you can see here is the tank this is the gas tank uh, where the gas is stored uh, so two places are there uh, one is its valve and uh, here is the filling cap the filling cap is here and uh, from here you can see this is the regular gasoline tank and here is the gas nozzle where they are feeding the gas from uh, so we are going to check each and everything over here and then in the engine compartment we will do our testing uh, so first of all uh, what we will need is for this one is uh, we need some soap water so we are making soap for the diagnostic purpose we will accumulate soap on each and every uh, joint so soap some somewhat somewhat like this you have to uh, grab a piece of uh, rag and just uh, put the soap on and here you can see i already put soap on i had uh, diagnosed the uh, diagnosed the problem actually uh, but for you people understanding just i'm going to film it you can see here no leak leak is not there uh, just I can grab on the camera but leak is not there I cannot see any leak a very very much small tiny leak over here is there you can see the bubble is it's making a little small bubbles you can see here but this leak is very very much nominal they are there it should not be but it is you can see here this small leak but this is not that big which is creating problem so the bigger leak I'm just going to address that one uh, that is the filling cap uh, here please give a light inside 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 please here is the problem this is very very much tiny space I uh, just very difficult facing difficulty I am facing to show this on camera but I will try it so I'm putting soap on and just try to mimic the situation Maybe you will listen on camera, please try to listen it. So as you are listening, that there is some gas hissing you can listen and that is our problem. I can see the bubbles also, but here the light is very very much little. So just try to light it up. Maybe you will see the bubbles also now. So this nozzle is defective, it's not tight, we will make it tight by some tools, uh, by some way because this space is very confined, we cannot put our hand in. So this is our leak, this was the concern which I was about to show you. Here is the gas cap, we are going to remove this uh, stopper from and here also we will do the same thing, same way we will put soap on and you can see there is no leak over here but inside this which is going over here there is a leak so we will try that is a big leak which i found so that's a problem another thing another place where the leak can be we are going to diagnose the line is coming over here this place so we are going to check it so you can see here i'm just soaping each and every line here we can find a little small leak over here on this valve this is the control valve actually here small small leak is there so these three places I found leak everywhere you will put the soap and try to grab the leak where the leak is we will repair it here you can see small bubbles are 
So this is another third leak which I just found. So these three leaks we will repair and then this car will be repaired. So uh, this is and hope uh, this video will help you people and if it helped you uh, please like it, like the video, subscribe my channel and give a big thumbs up. So here from the filling cap we just removed this uh, wall you can see and now I will be able to show you the leak the big leak I will be able to show you and we will try to repair it also mm, we have some tools like uh, pipe wrench because for uh, this we will need a pipe wrench as well as a screw wrench uh, for this one to grab this one we have screw wrench so we will try it using these two tools I am going to show you the leak so here is the leak you can see uh, just see these bubbles you can see it just it is uh, bubbling you can see these bubbles and uh, bubbles is are the bubbles are produced you can see this is a big leak so much bubbles are producing so it means that there is a big leak in between this and this so we will repair it I will try to show the repair process because uh, this is important to repair this one hold this unit in the pipe wrench anyhow I will try to do it and successfully will do it inshallah okay so like this and we will hold it and then we will try to tight this one so it's too much tight and these tools are not good for this but we are doing by any effort it should be some way a fixed wrench for this one after opening this you can see we are going to open this unit we just lose it with the tools here is the mechanism I am going to show you here is this one and here is the o-ring so this o-ring is defective we are going to remove this o-ring from and we will replace it Re replacement is easy using some screwdriver or some nail we can remove this o-ring from here is the o-ring and this is defective you can see so we will replace this o-ring and then we'll fix this unit and hopefully it will stop our leak so this is what is the mechanism and here is this o-ring after we repaired this item you can see just we replaced the o-ring in uh, which I have been shown uh, now the gas is opened you can see and uh, here is no leak no more leak I'm going to put a little bit more soap on this one to show you that there is no leak before it was leaking too much and now you can see now you can see no leak no small leak even so the replacement solved our problem the o-ring replacement had been solved our problem uh, so this was the solution for uh, this leaking car the gas leaking car uh, so hope you learned something from this video if you learned something from this video uh, please give a like thumbs up and uh, subscribe my channel share my videos with your friends Thank you for watching. We are working on a radiator fan. This is the radiator fan for a car. Of course for Suzuki. Every car have, almost every car have radiator fans. Some have mechanical, some have electrical. As this one is electrical, where you can see a motor with electrical connection and there is a fan. Uh, so we are going to overhaul this fan. Uh, for this you need some tools like a brush, cleaning brush, a few spanners, 8mm uh, of course socket or spanner you need, uh, Phillips screwdriver, cutter, plier and emery paper. Also you will need uh, some sort of cleaning agent like gas something like that and of course cleaning rack you need and uh, to start this job on the fan you should have to clean it first as I just cleaned it from the sides and then you should have to look for the play you should wiggle it if play is there 
then you will need some bearings or uh, bushing inside uh, but as I'm wiggling it I cannot feel a play inside so it probably it will not bushing or it will not uh, need any bearing inside they will be good but for sure they will need cleaning as well as the lubrication